Hello, I am so excited to be welcoming you back to my kitchen here in Arizona. Uh, we had such an amazing and a long visit with my parents, but now we are back in Arizona and it always just feels really good to get back into our routines and start cooking again in my own kitchen. And yeah, I just thought that I would show you a little bit of the preparations that I did before coming here. We were gone for six weeks. We weren't really able to leave anything perishable around. I wanna show you some things that I did to make coming home easier. I knew that I would be super thankful to my past self if I uh, just put a little bit of prep in to make coming home really extra uh, cozy and inviting. So when we got home last night around eight, I honestly did not really know what was still here. I just remembered that I had left things that I knew we could eat for dinner. So I was um, excited when I opened my freezer and saw that it was pretty full of stuff. One thing I did know for certain that we could um, make was I have a 12 pack of Annie's mac and cheese from Costco and I knew that I had butter at least in the freezer that I could use um, to make that. It does call for milk I believe but you can just use a little extra butter if you don't have milk. So I love having that in the house as kind of a fast food option. Okay, I just went through my freezer and pulled out some things that I thought were kind of notable that you can freeze. Uh, the week before leaving somewhere or in a couple of minutes before you jump into the car. So one thing that I have started freezing is milk. Uh, I just had some milk left over from a recipe. I threw it in this wide mouth mason jar. I labeled it on top with a chalk marker and into the freezer it went. It's still thawing. It was a little weird when I put it in my tea, but I know it'll work at least fine for a recipe and it's definitely not bad. The texture of things sometimes just changes uh, when they are frozen. I have a jar of uh, chipotle black beans that I had made. Uh, I think I just made more than I thought we were going to be excited about eating. So I threw them in here and now we'll, we might eat them for dinner tonight or lunch tomorrow. I have a pint size container of homemade hummus. Every time I make hummus, it seems like we throw away the end of it because we just can't make it through that much. I'm just not as excited about hummus as I always think that I will be. I bought these Italian sausages for a recipe, didn't end up making the recipe, so I just chucked them in the freezer. I got this plant-based butter before leaving and then wasn't able to finish it, so I just threw this right into the freezer and it looks exactly the same as when I put it in there. I had a lot of lemons in the fridge before leaving. So here they are. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. Um, and yep, yeah, they're fine. They might thaw a little bit mushy, but they will still have great juice in them and be able to be zested. This is a really good tip for lemons, especially you can buy them in season and just have a big uh, bag of them or whatever in your freezer. Or if you're lucky enough to have a lemon tree, throw them in your freezer. Bread. I love to freeze bread. So I like to double bag my bread. Um, and then I leave it to thaw at room temperature on my countertop. Or you can just take out slice by slice and put it in your toaster. At the supermarket I like the most, Sprouts, they have kind of, I don't know, classier cheeses and the prices are a lot more than I like to pay. So I like to buy uh, cheaper cheeses at Costco or whatever other store and then I can shred it and, or just put it into normal sized blocks and then I freeze it. And this can change the texture, but I just don't really mind and I'd rather not have to feel the pressure to use a block of cheese in the right amount of time. Last but not least, we have some fresh thyme that I threw into this quart sized bag and put in the freezer and actually it looks great. So I might make some thyme butter gnocchi with that eventually. So yeah, last night we got in at about 8 p.m. and it was really nice because I looked in the freezer and everything. I pulled out a, um, a large ice cube of pesto that I made a month or two ago and then I threw some water on to boil. I made angel hair, put the pesto in it and we had a really yummy, fresh tasting dinner from the freezer um, in like, I don't know, what did that take? 10 or 15 minutes to make. Those carbs were really good after wrangling saffron on the plane for so many hours. Oh, 
Here's another lifesaver I just thought of that I had left in my freezer and pulled out last night. This is creamer. Before leaving for this six week trip, I had bought pumpkin spice creamer and I was so enjoying it. I had a little leftover, put it in here, and when I got home last night and found it in my freezer, I was so excited. In the past, I used to really try to clean out my fridge, pantry, everything before a six week trip because then you get home, you can have a fresh start, you know, there's nothing icky, and that's really nice too, but I think in the future, I might uh, do more of this planning ahead, especially now that we have a kid. Um, something like leaving a freezer meal that you can just thaw or something like this pesto is really, really nice and just a gift to your future self. It makes coming home even more exciting and cozy and I just think it's a nice act of, you know, future hospitality. Most definitely, I am going to leave some creamer in the freezer for myself in the future because really this like made my morning so amazing. I just got home from picking up my CSA box. I have been receiving a CSA box every other week for the past couple of months. Something that I really believe in. It stands for Community Supported Agriculture, if you don't know. So uh, in these boxes, I've been getting a selection of seasonal, organic, and local produce, all of which those things I think are awesome. And um, I think they're at a discounted rate from what you would get at the grocery store. So I really support the idea, I love it, and you should look into one in your area. Let's open this one and see what's in here. I don't exactly know what I'm cooking for dinner tonight, so this might inform my decision. Two zucchini. Definitely might be using that up because I have some already in the fridge, so gotta get on that. Have a big chunk of rainbow chard. These are golden beets, which they're kind of small. Um, the beet tops are really impressive, so I'd like to try and um, use those as well. That's a lot of food to waste if we don't use those at all. Oh, I'm excited about this, look. Oh, I think my favorite vegetable to get organic is carrots. Look how cute it is. Oh my, this is a really large head of red leaf lettuce. I decided since I had like five zucchini at this point that I would make some zucchini bread, which has been, it's been I think a year since the last time I made a loaf of zucchini bread. This um, was super quick to mix up and I actually only was able to put one zucchini in it. So that was kind of a bummer. I don't know why I was expecting to be able to throw like three in here, but that dream did not come true. Totally worth it though, and maybe I'll just have to make like four more loaves to use up the rest of my zucchini. afternoon snack while Saffron naps, um, the zucchini bread. Unsurprisingly, <clears throat> that was really good. Um, I was going to actually start prepping dinner. I've been kind of like thinking all day about what to make for dinner and it's been kind of driving me crazy because when I came back and I shopped, I didn't have any meals in mind and sometimes that's really fun and helps me to be extra creative, but Really, I love meal planning because then I'm much less frustrated through the week um, and I have the ingredients for meals that I actually want to make and eat. So I um, had the idea of making some lasagna because I have all this produce from my CSA box that I really need to use up. I just soaked some raw cashews and I'm going to make a vegan cashew ricotta from a recipe I found on Pinterest. So I think that'll be really fun. Um, but anyway, I was gonna do that now during nap time, but I was just listening to a Montessori video and she was talking about how at 12 months, 
that's when they're really into um, working on practical life skills and they really want to help with chores around the house and learn how to be a contributing mem member of the family. I think I need to make this lasagna while Saffron's awake and try and involve her. So I know that's something that she really wants to be doing. She really wants to be helping me and I'd love to uh, help her to be able to do that. So anyway, this is <laughs> my nap time thoughts. So I'll see you guys later. I am just par cooking some lasagna noodles right now. Um, really didn't think this through. They're only like half covered in boiling water. Um, I'm also going to, I believe, saute up some Swiss chard because I don't love that. This seems like the best way for me to use it. Good walking, kiddo. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at you go. Okay, here you go. Hold it for mommy. Can you wash it off? Okay, now it's all clean. Can you put it inside the salad spinner, please? Thank you. Can I sit you down? Can I put you on the ground for a minute? Practice with the salad spinner. There's that. And here's this. You can put some things in it like, oh, ping pong balls. Can you put that in here, Saffron? Can you put that in there? Put it right in here, please. Thank wow. you. Here's another one. Here you go. Put it in. No, 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 not in your mouth. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. Can you put it in there? Right here? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. Nice. Okay, two tablespoons of this. What should we do with this? Pour it in. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting feeling, isn't it? That's sour. You're not gonna really like that, I don't think. But you kind of do like sour stuff. <sighs> this is exhausting. <sighs> I can't <laughs> It is the next day. I'm still a little bit tired from last night, but it was fun. It turned out so good. That lasagna, seriously. <laughs>
actually, it was so good. Um, I actually think I like the vegan cheese maybe better than ricotta because ricotta has that kind of like, it just makes it extra gooey. Um, and the vegan cheese was a little bit sweet because cashews are actually pretty sweet, raw cashews. Um, so it was definitely a different take on a lasagna, but I loved it and Saffron ate so much of it. I think it was helpful that she um, had a part in cooking it. I think that that um, made her even more likely to try it because she was even going for the green Swiss chard, which isn't usually something she'd go for. So that was a total win and it was fun, albeit exhausting.